Hi, I'm Rick Conlo. I'm glad you're here. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to delegate effectively. Five key steps to help it motivate, if not inspire, employees to greater performance. So as we do, I want to share a couple of pictures here with you as a start to emphasize part of a value we need to have as we work with our teams. First of all, Lucille Ball. I don't know if you knew this or not, but Lucille Ball in the beginning was told she couldn't act. And she's having trouble getting her career off the ground, but she didn't quit. And she showed everybody the talent and ability that she had and went on to have one of the longest running TV comedy series of all time. Uh, and she was awesome. And then her and her husband, Desi Arnaz, uh, went on to create a production company and created many of the movies of their day. Very successful. In other words, she had tremendous talent and ability. Others didn't know it. A great coach and leader can bring that out of people. And then the other is Walt Disney. He was told he couldn't uh, draw, and he was rejected. And even, in fact, uh, Steamboat Willie was stolen away from him in the beginning. Talk about difficulty and quitting. And the point was, he continued on. And, of course, the rest is history with Mickey Mouse and the Walt Disney theme parks and resorts. Wow! A testament to the incredible potential. Both these superstars are about the potential that people have. And we need to remember this about our team. As leaders, we need to delegate. We can help bring out the best in people when we do that. So how do you do that? Five key steps. Let's get into them. First one, when you sit down with somebody, you want to outline the task that you're going to ask them to do clearly and ask them for questions. Second, you build their confidence by starting off with smaller tasks and going to larger ones. Don't give them the whole thing all at once. Give them a little bit, help them do it, be successful, then move on to bigger pieces. Third, Set up agreed upon checkup time so you can follow up and reinforce. You just don't let somebody go, do something they've never done before, and let them sink or swim. That's old school. That never really worked that well anyway. Only a small percentage of people would be successful. We want everybody to win here. So have those agreed upon times to come in for co coaching, questions, feedback, forth. Give them the support they need. So maybe they need some tools and uh, dollars, a budget, uh, uh, training, uh, other people to help. Provide it so they succeed. You want people to win. Don't let them go find it themselves. Set it up for them. And then fifth, at the end of the project, do a review. Do some additional summary coaching. What did we learn? What worked well? What didn't work so well? What else can we do next time to be more successful? This will be an empowering process, an engaging process, so people are successful. Do you hear what I'm talking about on these five steps now? Boom, 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 and boom. It gets done, and they'll be more successful in what they do. This is what helps. Now, think about it. You delegate different things uh, to different types of people. With a trainee, you don't uh, you know, give them the most complicated tasks. You give them entry-level things that maybe are a little outside their job, but with a little study, a little learning, they can get it done. Your dependable employees, those who you can rely on day in and day out, maybe a new duty, maybe uh, a, a job that's similar to one they're doing but a little different, uh, maybe a new software, maybe a new procedure that they need to go on, ones that they have to do a little planning and preparation and process improvement to your best employees, your stars, you know, committees, action steps, training of others, problem solvings. So we got to also make intelligent choices about who we delegate to and what we delegate to them. Remember this, most people think they're performing better than they are. That's a fact. But on the other hand, most people can perform significantly better than they are. That's the job of a leader. Delegation helps you do that. This information is just a small point of what we cover in our book, Superstar Leadership. It has the research of what the best of the best do, apart from everybody else, a 31-day game plan to help you be more successful in what you do. I wish you the great success. You know, my business partner, Doug, and I have this superstar leadership model where key strategies go together. And what we're out to do with our 3D, one-of-a-kind, unique leadership model is to revolutionize the effectiveness of leaders. We're telling leaders, step up your game, okay? There, there isn't time for you to be like everybody else. Be different. Be more effective. And we think it can be done. That's what we're after. We're going to get it done. We make that commitment. There really isn't an excuse to be a poor leader today. And keep in mind, most reasons why employees leave a job is because of a bad boss. Hear what I'm saying here? And we say, be a student of game, increase your learning, and you'll increase your effectiveness as a leader, and you'll help your team be better. But it starts with you.
I have this dream that soars on golden wings. I dream of your achievements and your legacy that sings. I do not know all about your awesome goals or your persistent efforts to raise the bar. I only know that you can be the best, if not a superstar. Thanks for coming and have a great day.